From Hollywood, California, where people wait in line for two hours for fried chicken on a Tuesday, it's the Josh McCuga Show. Tonight's guest, Scott Eastwood. And now your host, a guy who refuses to wait in line for that darn fried chicken, it's Josh McCuga. What's up, Josh McCuga Show fans? Back here for another episode. Before we get into it, and I'll let you know who my guest is, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Josh McCuga. Subscribe to the channel here. Uh, if you bought a boat in the last like four or five months, and you want to put the Josh McCuga Show as the name of the boat, or like fly it behind it, and hashtag it, tell them to subscribe. That's a great way to self-promote, get that word out. Like if you live in the Miami area, we need some Miami fans, just saying it. And if you bought a plane <laughs> in the last couple months, do the same. Do the same, exactly. Uh, you guys know who my guest is because he just went on camera. Uh, you've seen him <laughs> in all kinds of movies, uh, TV. This is his first time on an in-apartment talk show. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Eastwood. <laughs> hey, no, Snip, oh, look on. at you. Come on. Look at, look come what on. you're wearing, look what I'm wearing. This is well, inappropriate. You're a casual guy. But sometimes you're very formal as well. I've this seen is, you in both. This is true. I mean, it seems like every time that you put you on a cover of a magazine, it's either shirtless or with like a really nice suit on. You're getting pretty. There used is to not that. a lot of in between. <laughs> maybe we, maybe I should go more in between. Yeah. <laughs> the in between magazine. Yeah. yeah. The in between. I dig it. Yeah. I dig. Uh, now a lot of people are probably wondering how did you get Scott Eastwood on an in apartment talk show. Uh, <laughs> Funny enough, uh, I married a girl just so I could do just this. I put a ring on her finger. It took about two years to yep. con her into doing you, it. You married one of my best friends. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I'm on an in apartment talk show. <laughs> <laughs> when you're, you see, when they're your best friend, like you can't really say no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thanks, and man. then now you're in turn, you know. I appreciate that. Best friend too, so it's like. I will say when you guys, when we first started just talking, uh, it was right when The Longest Ride was coming out. Ah, yes. And she posted a picture like, can't wait to see this stud in action, like hashtag The Longest Ride. And I was like, are you fucking joking? <laughs> She's thinking Scott Eastwood? Like, what the fuck? I don't have a chance at this shit. So like, the next couple days she texts me and she'd be like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, ah, oh, nothing. And like, I was kind of like being a little like dickish about it. And oh, I was you were? Like, oh, are you like, do you like date Scott Eastwood? And she was, because we were just like, just starting to talk to her. No, no, no. He's like my brother. He's like my brother. I was like, you, sh you sure? Because mm. pretty handsome dude. Like, <laughs> that is, that's true. I'm very handsome. Very handsome. <laughs> very handsome. But then, you know, fast forward three years later and we're married. So, no big deal. No, it's great. It's like I got a new brother. Hey. That's great. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, I want to. I don't know, like, I feel like every time we hang out and we talk, I never get a chance to talk to you kind of about, like, your career or anything like that. Okay. Um, obviously, I know all the movies you've been in. Pacific Rim 2 is coming out very soon. People are psyched about that. Yeah. Was this, were you always going to be an actor? Was that in the cards, or were you, did you want to do something else? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if I was always, if I always knew I was going to, you know, be an actor, because that's the thing about acting. You kind of got to go out there and try it, and, you, you know, you, it might not happen for right. you. Um, I, yeah, I, I was sort of, I sort of said, you know, I'm going to give myself till 30. Okay. Um, and, and then stuff started so, happening a, a few years ago, um, probably about five or six years ago, yeah. stuff started happening, you know, in a, in a meaningful way where I, you know, cause I was, I was bartending for, for a long time sure, and I was, so was that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, bartending and, uh, valet parking cars and, uh, doing any sort of odd, odd jobs, you know, construction, whatever. Right. And then a few years ago, you know, it started happening where, you know, I could say, okay, well, you know, maybe I can do this full time now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What was like the big break? Was it longest ride? Do you think, or was it? No, it was before that. It was before that. I started working, uh, pretty consistently. Awesome. Um, just on, on, you know, I started working it, Probably about 13, 14 years ago in film, right. but you know they were they were very small roles in, in sometimes big movies, yeah. sometimes small movies, um, but they were they were you know bits and pieces, and they weren't really enough to string enough any money together to to continue to do it. Yeah. Um, but then it started happening in a little bit more meaningful each time. Sure. You know, where I would get a, a bigger job on a. Uh, a little bit bigger movie and, and, and so on and so forth. It's starting to grow like that. I think a lot of people want to know, are you going to be Nightwing? <laughs> and I want to tell people. I've, just, I've been hiding it for a long time. Right here, exclusive on the John McGuga Show. I'm Nightwing. I'm <laughs> yes! Night I got He's Nightwing. On. I'm a bat. I'm fucking Nightwing. Look at it. I'm doing it right now. Yeah. 
How long did you get I was out there in the night. Winging it? I was winging it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's true. What is, I guess, like a highlight so far? What has been your favorite thing that you've done? It could have been a scene. It could have been, you know, an entire movie. It could have been, like, something very simple. What has been something that always stands out, like, puts a smile on your face when you're, when you're thinking about it? Getting to work with my father. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just, just lucky enough to, just to get to work with him and um, just to be in his presence yeah. while he's working. And, and uh yeah, I think I'll always remember. Uh, I've I got to work with him on a, on a few films. Sure. Um, you were that douche in uh, Gran Torino. I was that douche. Yeah, that was uh, sweet. I also worked on Invictus. Yeah, Springbok. Yeah, Springbok. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow, I almost, I almost forgot that was in <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> Jeez, it feels like so long ago. Yeah, it's a great uh, movie. Yeah, and I got to work on uh, uh, Flags of Our Fathers. You know, really, I, anytime working with my father, but also working on. Um, also working on uh, um, the, any of the two World War II uh, films that yeah. I got to do. That that that's that was sort of meaningful in a way because you were really paying a, a tribute to to the people who have fought and died for this country. Sure. Um, you're telling a real story in a lot of places. You in your time, you you could be playing somebody's father or grandfather, and there's a lot of responsibility to that. Yeah. Is I mean, obviously, there's a ton of stories out there about your dad and how he directs, like one take, that uh-huh. kind of stuff. Do you have yeah. a, like a fun story? I mean, you're a son, but like, do you have a fun story of like him directing? Going like, eh, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was t- he was tough on me. He was definitely tough on me, but in, in, in a good way. You know, I think the way fathers fathers are are tough on people yeah, sure. sometimes. Of you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's many a, a silent car ride home after a sporting event where yeah. it's not that I didn't play well, is that I was acting unlike a gentleman. Do you know what I mean? And that was like always my dad's thing was like, if you're going to be in public and you're going to do something, make sure that you put in your best face forward. Sure. Yeah. I had an old shoulder injury and I was playing rugby with the guys during Invictus mm-hmm. and it kind of re injured itself at one point and. I remember coming in off the field and like needed to get it iced and it was, you know, I was icing it and in between takes and this and the other. And he just walked by and he just looked at me, just sort of disgust. (laughs) I remember he wanted to say something like, what the hell are you doing? But he couldn't really even, he didn't really even have time (laughs) to think it. I remember there was something going on and there's, you know, a lot going on and obviously in the production. Yeah. I just remember that look, disappointment. Almost like a Kurt Russell in Miracle. Like, what uh, are you doing, you candy? Yeah, this place yeah, of hockey. Yeah, yeah. I remember that feeling about this big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what uh, do can you do a, a good impression of your dad? Do you have one of those? Because everybody's got like a Clint Eastwood. You know what I mean? Can, do you, can you do like a get off my lawn? You know? <laughs> can you do that? Well, Josh. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> uh, well, I think we should probably get into tonight's game. Uh, we're, we're calling this the first and the curious. We've played this a bunch of the, times. The first and the curious. First and the curious. It's a playoff, uh, Fast and the Furious. Oh, I saw uh, what you did there. We'll start easy and then we'll go to some more uh, uncomfortable questions. Okay. If you don't want to answer, you can pass. Mm-hmm. I don't know if like your publicist lets you answer questions like okay. this, but what the hell? Sure. Let's go. Let's get weird. Uh, mm-hmm. Your first concert. Do you remember your first concert? First concert. Please tell me it was like four. Fleetwood Mac. Oh, nice. Yes. That's a good one. It's a good one. Hell yeah. I, didn't, I don't think I realized how good it was. Was it the until dance? Later on. Like when they first came back that year, they played that like VH1 concert? It was, I want to say it was at the, the Irvine Amphitheater. Whoa. Yeah. Cool venue. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't remember. Fleetwood Mac's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. the first one I can really remember. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first car. First car. You're a car uh, guy. 91. <laughs> 91 uh, Crown Vic. Whoa. Uh, the trunk didn't close, uh, <laughs> so it uh, used a bungee cord. Nice. Um, you know, bungees stretch. So they bounce a lot. 
<laughs> Didn't keep many things in the trunk, did you, Scott? No, it died actually on Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, that a boy. Yeah. Did you just leave it for dead, light it on fire? Uh, I did leave it. It's always my dream, um, legitimately. I did leave it, um, but then retrieved it later. Oh, but, okay. Uh, I remember pushing it off because it, it the, the steering had stuck. It actually uh, had sprung an oil leak. And the uh, the engine froze, and it, it, it didn't make sense. That yeah. The car was didn't make sense to to fix it. Okay. Um, Crown Vic. So that was it. It's cop Scott Eastwood, a police officer Eastwood. Have yeah. you ever played a cop in a movie? I've played a few cops. Yeah. I've played a couple cops. I can yeah. see cop. Lethal Weapon I reboot. Can, I don't know if I could remember them all, but I. <laughs> I uh, do, do, do first movie you saw in the theater. The first movie I saw in the theater. It, would, it probably had to be one of my father's. Yeah. Probably had to be. Took you as like a super youngster. Wasn't exactly I known for like say... a family film guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he also wasn't known for somebody to really, you know, adhere to, well, that's PG-13. You can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just got to gotta learn to be an adult someday. Gotcha. Yeah. Probably uh, uh, pro- uh, Unforgiven. 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 Didn't you go to that? You did, Amanda. When you went to the. Uh, he had a Monterey premiere, like in the old Del Monte oh. Center. Movie oh, yeah. Theater. And I remember that was the first time I ever saw him at Tom Selleck and fell in love with him. I was eight years old. Um, yeah, but I went to the theater See? and saw the movie. She was eight. You she can barely hear her lovely voice, but she <laughs> is here in the audience and she yeah. met Tom Selleck. Whoopity do. <laughs> I thought it was she a also great was story. dating Scott Eastwood and lied to me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, first kiss. First kiss. First consensual kiss. I mean, it's the, it's. Come on, Scott. We're in a different climate right that's now. That's true. Uh, you better not say my wife. <laughs> Just, that's not what she told me. Oh man. Um, you know, I want to say it was. It had to been. Somewhere around eight-ish, eight? eight to ten. They were doing. You guys were early up there in the Monterey. Well, yeah. I think there was, you know, there, there was probably some sort of like, playground uh, underneath yeah. the swing. Cool, cool thing. It's getting specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember there were feelings, there were emotions. Yeah. It was very strong. Was she like your first girlfriend? Like my first girlfriend, Whitney Brown, third no. grade. Uh, no, 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 no. Then I didn't. I didn't have a girlfriend for like, ever. I like was thir- twenty-five years. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Twenty-five years. <laughs> Yeah. Straight to right now. Straight to now. Uh, we'll end on uh, first time, your first encounter with a naked woman. How'd that go? We don't need names. We don't need anything like that. Just like the experience of it all. Just, just, just. It's all in the in the the natural glory. Cerebrally, of it. Yeah. like bring everyone into it. Yeah. Hmm. She was older. Yeah. She was older. I'm not going to say how much older, but a lot. <laughs> a lot. You know who you are. You know who you are. And, um, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was a lovely, lovely experience. Um, I probably, for her, maybe not so much. <laughs> but for me... It's fantastic. There you go. Scott Eastwood, First in the Curious. You guys can see him in Fate of the Furious, uh, which will be part eight of this game as we play down the line. Oh, You're here for the next clever. three hours, Scott, so you're welcome. Yeah, uh, I'll be here till we shoot the next one. <laughs> yeah. First in the Curious, guys, we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Yeah. According to the Surgeon General, nine out of ten people drink Magic Hat beer, which is why it's called Magic Hat Number no. 9. The first eight people loved it so much that when the ninth person came around, they said, hey, drink Magic Hat. And by the time they got to the tenth person, they thought, maybe that's just too perfect. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So they settled on nine. Nine out of ten, Magic Hat number nine. Ah, tastes like almost perfection. All right, and we're back with Scott Eastwood uh, coming up in uh, Pacific Rim 2. What's the hash, What's the second part of that? Pacific Rim 2, colon? Pacific Rim 
Uprising. Uprising. There you go. We have to go over this again. <laughs> Well, you're not. We, while we're shooting, this is not going to be out for a couple of weeks. But we're shooting. You haven't started your promo tour, so this is like a, this. I'm getting you warmed up for that promo apartment tour. Apartment promo tour officially started <laughs> right here. Uh, okay, let's talk the personal side of of Scott Eastwood. Uh, you had, I mean, listen. There are most guys out there that would want to live your life. Like 99.999 percent of guys out there would want to be like actor. Young, hanging out with like Leonardo DiCaprio, girls, models, cover of Men's Health. What does Scott Eastwood want, though? What does the sensitive guy of Scott Eastwood want? Well, I mean, want what everyone wants um, to be happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to no, I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, I, I'd say that with a smile on my face, but I mean, you know, look, I mean, you know, everyone wants to figure out where their place in this matrix is, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, what. Yeah. You know, find, you know, find, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky in the sense that I'm, I get to do what I love. Sure. Um, I get to go out and, and make film. Um, at least they're allowing me to do that now, Hollywood <laughs> is. <laughs> um, Are you going to direct ever? I'd like that, yeah. I think. Um, but that's down the road. Okay. Um, it's just, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of responsibility and it's a lot of... Um, I Way think less responsibility. I, I, I want to be really, res I, I want to, I want to be really inspired by the material okay. I'm inspired by a great story before I before I take that leap okay and I still there's a lot of great directors I'd still love to work with sure so you know I don't, I don't know it might be jumping the gun okay a little bit right now but gotcha. yeah do you ever want to put one of these on your finger I don't know let me try it on <laughs> let me see how it, let me see let me see how it feels let me see what it goes on the left left hand the left, left hand. hand the left right <laughs> My fat finger is a little bit bigger than. It's a little like. I is don't know, it? Does it feel flim, heavy? It's like it's like flimsy. Is that is it like a metaphor for my relationships? <laughs> very loose, like very. It could fall off at any time. Fall, like, <laughs> any moment. <laughs> Just ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you hold on. To that. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is has there been like a, a, this, do you have like one that got away or do you even think of that terms or is there like no 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 I'm I, every woman that I've dated um, has has been incredible um, in their own way and I you know have love and will always love them okay um, and and I just think it, it boils down to to timing right timing and is in life is everything and. Sure. Uh, you know, maybe there was, there's, you know, maybe I wasn't ready. Maybe, you know, it just wasn't, just, you know, it doesn't mean that it, life is just a, it's just another chapter, right? Gotcha. It's just, it's not, sure. the book isn't written yet, <laughs> you know? The book is not written, Scott. The book's not you written a, yet. You need it's a just, story to inspire you, chapters. sir. Yeah. You need a story. Uh, I want to know what my wife was like growing up. I need some. I need some funny stories for oh, the camera. She's in the audience. Oh, Before we go Amanda. to the deep end, I need you to burn her. Just give me just something. To that, the core? Like, uh, you, nobody can hear you. I mean, she's. We, we're, we're, Scott is telling us the funny stories now. She's far you funnier are the captain than now. you. Oh, burn shakalaka! I know her vows were really good, yeah, weren't they? Her vows are good. Yeah. But no, I mean, she was always she was she was always one of the guys. She was one of the guys. Okay. You know, she could roll. She could ride. She could ride. That's why our rings say, "We ride together, we die together." Oh, is that what it says? Yeah. Bad boys for life. Bad boys. Ah, you did that See? in the wedding. I remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The little, the little things you remember. The yeah. little things you remember. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, listen, man. I, I love you like a brother. You know that. Um, and uh, respect the hell out of you. And I thank you for coming on the show. We have still a little bit more to do. Okay. But, um, what are we? What are we doing? We, we, we're gonna do the What's, deep end. There's some. Can I ask more, about the. The fake microphone? Yeah, well, it's just it's, it's a more it's a nice a, prop. It's a decoration. The other ones are a little too expensive for me right now. <laughs> We're on YouTube. When we get I out of the apartment, that, no, Scott, but I, what I, I see that. Does Fallon? Uh, they don't use a microphone. They, they use... have they have the surround one that goes like right here that you never really pay attention to because it's small. But there is a microphone right there, oh. just in case your so he, in case dies. he wants to get up and yeah. But yeah. no, he's lobbed too. He's lobbed too. Yeah. We have a wired love. Thanks for really ripping the guts out of the show, Scott. Hey, no, the, wi I, the wired lobs <laughs> is the way I got to do it. It's the way uh, I've always ever done oh, it. Oh, that's how you do apartment talk shows, Scott. It's how you do apartment talk shows. I, I, I like it. I just was just, what if it was the biggest, you know, paperweight I've seen in a long time? I was just... <laughs> 
Just checking. Yep. You're right. You yeah. nailed it. It was good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, should we do some deep end? What do you think? What's deep so, end? So that wheel of oh destiny God. right there is going to spin. Oh, the wheel of destiny. And uh, whatever comes up, you have okay. to answer. If you don't want to answer it, you can pass, but we don't recommend you pass. Okay. Come on, most memorable so sex. So it's going to... Most memorable sex? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it uh, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Your, happiest Your happiest moment. moment. My happiest moment. Um, Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> For longest ride. <laughs> Have it in when I got the surfboards. Yep. When they gave me that <laughs> surfboard. Yeah. That Have was, you ever surfed on that mm, surfboard? No, uh, but it's sitting in my house and I have waxed it up thinking I was going to. And I wish, you know, I wish I could trade it in. <laughs> because they don't, it's not really my size. Okay, a little the boy, it's a little too small. Okay. Um, maybe I should write a letter. Yeah. I should write a letter, you know. I, I just, I like, I appreciate the gesture, but I'd like a new one. Do you want to do a single to that camera and we can just send it to the Teen Choice Awards? Teen Choice people. Just talk to me about the measurements. If you want to give me another one, not a big deal. Just I'm sure they've got the money, Scott. They could make it happen. Yeah, you guys got the money. Should we do one more, Thad? What do you think? Sure. Spin the wheel. Spin, Spin the, the wheel. wheel. Wheel of destiny. Oh, come on. Worst Where? job you ever had. Ooh. That's pretty good. We talked about bartending. We talked about valet. I mean, I have some bad bartending jobs, but I also worked at Honey Baked Ham, so that takes the cake. Honey baked ham. Yeah. I was a glazer. You glazed the hands? <laughs> I did. You take sugar and a blowtorch and just melt it right on there. Is that what you and the wife do? Oh, yeah. She's weird like that. <laughs> I hooked a propane just, tank up in the bedroom. Yeah. Just, you get asked. <laughs> glazing the ham. Yeah, just glazing that ham. Oh, God. Glazing <laughs> yeah. the ham. Yeah. yeah. For a reason. Those Carmel girls. Oof. Oof. Go Padres. Am I right? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. If, I mean, that really... <laughs> It takes the game. Takes the glaze. <laughs> oh, that's why they give them um, Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> uh, working for my buddy's, my buddy's dad moving cement. Oh, yeah, like not, full not stuff. fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's not fun. Mixing, moving. All right, let's do yeah. some rapid fire questions. You ready? Three, two, one. Uh, favorite TV show of all time. Um. Uh, South Park. Oh, okay. Do you try to eat organic? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you ever gone streaking? Yes. Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? Britney. Olive Garden Bitch. or Outback Steakhouse? Um, uh, Outback. Okay. Are you a fan of strip clubs? No, but Is I'll go. <laughs> Twist my arm. Is your MySpace profile still active? Never had one. Oh, who would play you in a biopic? That's probably a good one. You, obviously. <laughs> yes! Duh, the Scott Eastwood story starring Josh McGuga. <laughs> yeah. In. Uh, did OJ do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Tom Selleck or Burt Reynolds? Uh, Tom Selleck. <laughs> do you have any Canadian friends? Uh, yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Best burger you've ever had. Mmm, in and out. See, I'm with first time. Chicken or steak? Chicken. Fish or chicken? Fish. Ah, bourbon or scotch? Bourbon. Beer or wine? Wine. Do you take vitamins every day? Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes when I don't forget. <laughs> Tap water. I put them in my pocket, <laughs> but I forget a lot. Minute 30, tap water or bottled water? Uh, tap. <laughs> Ever fail a class in high school or college? Yes. That a boy. Sexier accent, Aussie or British? Oh, Aussie. <laughs> Cheetos yes. or Doritos? This is, Cheetos. Ru this is ruining a future front sponsorship opportunity for you. Uh, if you could have a drink with any dead person, who would it be? Martin Luther King. Ah, there you go. Metallica or Guns N' Roses? Guns N' Roses. Are you a cuddler? I like to be a little spoon. <laughs> little, big little spoon guy. Got it, got it. 45 seconds. Uh, you could be the lead singer of any band in history. What band do you choose? 
like an 80s band, let's do uh, Poison. Oh, every rose Just has its the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could be a Monster Valley guy. Who let the dogs out? 30 seconds. Wait, who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Uh, me, probably, because I forgot to latch the gate and my roommate's mad at me again. <laughs> uh, did you ever beat Oregon Trail? No. Je Impossible to beat. Just kept going. <laughs> Jeopardy right? or Wheel of Fortune, 10 seconds. Jeopardy. Yeah. You ever been skydiving? Yes. Five seconds. How often do you call your parents? All the time. <laughs> Last one. Mom. If you had a band, what would you call it? <sighs> the Makuga Eastwood Band. <laughs> I'll take it. There it is. Scott Eastwood, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. Love you. Good times. Don't ever ask me to do this again. <laughs> Were you not? But I'm serious. You didn't like it? Were you upset that I overdressed, that I outdressed you? Is that what it was? You fucked up. Ah. <laughs> Just kidding. So it's the end of the John Cougar <laughs> Show. See you guys never. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go to Facebook, I'm also there. Support our Patreon campaign. If you're watching the Josh McCuga Show, you're doing something right. And that something right is giving random people hugs when they don't want them.